Savage, 21 years old, uh, getting her feet on the international circuit, currently ranked 31 in the world, and that's her highest rank in two games. Yeah. Um, so, all to play for. Uh, she's a new talent emerging through, and certainly training with uh, Johnson is, is certainly helping her campaign to establish herself on the international circuit. Jensen again, been top junior for years. Transition pretty well, not quite as fast as Johnson. The Bangkok stage. My life, I suppose, in Bangkok. Is in but she was in the finals there. So, yeah, she's been at the matches, she's in the final. Great result, Tanya. The Danish women's team are all in Dortmund. That is correct. Will they beat Russia? Shows her two dominant forces. Voilà des présentations qui ont été faites. La Russe se termine des deuxième des qualifications. On aura probablement fait le choix de Sorry, for those of you that are not familiar with compound de archery, de uh, it's, it's a new type of bow compared to the, the recurve bow that's used in the Olympics. Compound works on a pulley system, so it's very, very difficult at first when you start opening the bow, and then you get it over to a peak in which the, the, the bow weight will reduce. What, looking at 20, 40 percent? I imagine these girls are shooting 50 to 55 pounds on the, on the peak. And then when it gets to their face, it reduces down. 70, 80 pounds. Excellent. So that enables them to aim, so it's more of a precision type bow. Then there's a release aid to execute the shot. Yeah. So, nine, mad day over. As I said, the practice range, the lighting is so different. So you really want those first arrows to be, to be good. Nice looking shot from Jensen, but not quite a 10. Maintaining the pressures against the bow, keeping it going through the 10. Really nice shot. So Jensen now needs to be finding that 10 or she'll find herself. Nice shot. It's good response. Okay, so 29 of the Eva. Tanya needs a 10 to uh, keep up with the Russian. Nice. He drops it. So one one point lead from the a little bit nervous there. As I said, this is she's not as accustomed to uh, as the other girls. It's Martin Dam's boat has basically stayed out there, I think. It's great when you've got a teammate to turn to and you know he's going to all the advice you need. Look, both girls very, very relaxed compared to our, our junior counterparts that we saw this morning. It was quite a tense affair for them, understandably. They're getting used to this stage where these girls uh, have, have done this on numerous occasions, both indoors and outdoors, so they can relax a bit more. But certainly when they're on the line, it, it's down to serious business. All about process rather than results. Executing the good shots and trusting yourself that it is going to go into the middle. So, let's have a quick look how they qualify. And they have a shot of 5.89. Really good. Second, she got second place on a three-way coin toss with another Russian and uh, Andre Markov. And Jensen, Jensen was down, 24th place. So she's had a really good run through the matches on a 5.77. But I know she's capable. She was a lot more than that. Jensen shooting. Yeah. Normal trigger release. And they have a... Shoot the Russian form, shooting the wrist release. Nine. Okay, so we're all square. But Tanya sticking with her Russian opponent. Got ball draw now. Ten. Nails the ten. Tanya's found a mark now. Trying to keep relaxed, keeping the breathing. Ten. Add the other. And the 10, then 10, but Tanya, very good shooting. She looked a little bit like 
Ooh, it's a 10. And a 10. And a 10. So, well, well, that's that's five, 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 Just a little and then a 149 against the teammate Muni Grava in the semi. So she really turned it on in the semi. Very consistent way before that. Jensen shot a 146, a 148, a 147 to beat Mancini. And then a 146 again to beat her teammate Shonison in the semi. So, so this is somebody that can certainly shoot in in head to head matches. Probably not so good on qualifying. No, really good head to head matches there from Jensen all the way through. Which is a different type of mindset, I would say, because it's very, it's like a 100 meter run. You, you've got to be at your best in a very short amount of time. Whereas qualification, it's over about. Uh, a, a two, three hour period, and you're, you're sitting up, uh, coming up to the line and shooting, and then sitting down talking to your friends. It's a, a much slower affair, um, but obviously intense because you want to hit the perfect 600. Yeah, so at the over, shooting fast. She's not managed to get a 10 yet on the bottom face, at the over. So we're in the third end of five. This starts to turn into the business end of the match. Is can you shake off your opponent to start opening up a lead? Yeah, long shot from Jensen. It's good, it's a ten. It was worth the wait. <coughs> yeah. Nine. 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 So will not be happy with that no. at all. But Jensen's opening up two points. This and she does two point lead now to Jensen. This is how you win your matches, taking the opportunity Big. when you get the opportunity. <laughs> Take over. it. Needs a 10 now. Ten yes. points. It. Could not allow for a three point lead. Jensen keeps the two points. Ten. 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 And a two point lead. Six times in a row now for Jensen. Applying the gas to take on a bit of a lead. For those compound women sitting at home, if you wanted to make the top 32 here, you would have needed to shoot 573 points. Um, it was a shoot off uh, for that uh, shoot off, for, for, that, for the cut, sorry. There were four women shooting 573, and it was a four way shoot off. Uh, clear winner shooting a 10, and then uh, it was a nine going closest to the middle. And Inga van Kaspel taking that very position, um, half 32nd place. Some notable names that didn't make the cut uh, arena Markovic here, Daisy Clark, Andrea Gale. Naomi Jones, who has uh, been very strong indoors previously. Johanna Chesse. She's won this. She's won this, so she was at 45. Dalia Cook. Cook, yeah, she was shooting at the Outdoor World Cup finals in Ordenza mm -hmm. and uh, didn't make the cut here. So it's really tough, really tough to get in there. So, at the over. Needs a ten. Just out. It is a nine. Oh, that's a nine. She shot a top on the face first. She did. So she's altering the, the order. Uh, wow. order. Didn't work. Oh, Jensen gets a nine though. She looked a little bit disappointed at that. So still a two-point lead. Oh, bit of a twitch there. Yes. Ten points. But she recaptured the shot and apply those pressures through the ten. So. Jensen going a bit and slow. By two gets a ten. Ten. Inside out, 10 there. Jensen's shot timing is inconsistent. Yeah, maybe thinking about it a bit much, but uh, 28 is not enough for my day over. So Jensen now can open up a three point lead. And she does. 
117 to 114. Oh, no, 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 Oh, on, 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 on taking uh, We've got the uh, champion uh, uh, line uh, here. Uh, uh, we didn't really get to see the first arrow very close, but it wasn't even as to respond the spot. So yeah, we, we have a spotter, we have a guy sat behind us here in the telescope uh, zooming in on this very, very small target to try and see if the arrow's touching the lines and uh, then inputting it uh, in, into the uh, scoring system here to try and help you guys at home understand uh, what the arrow values are and uh, who's winning. It can be a bit difficult to uh, hear with how close it is. Alors yeah, attention got, uh, pour cette uh, volume de la dernière des applaudissements et des encouragements de tout le public. Voilà. Zion Dayla picked up a point after the judge called her arrow in. It's a two-point deficit in favor of Tanya Hansen. Not Dayla. This is trading in the match. She needs to put some pressure on Jensen. Jensen, you know, not as experienced, but knowing you've got to get a 10 slightly easier than knowing you've got to push in. Excellent. There was no doubt there. Trying to keep her grip on this match. Great shot there, Tanya. Ten. Matched it. Gives herself a little head nod there. And you should do that, actually. Yeah. It's not a bad She's thing. Like, it's like a good shot, Show a bit of emotion there. And David doing everything she can there to make her work. With a ten. No. There's the nut. Oh, that's Nine a good so arrows. All of a sudden, we've got a close match. And David can nail this. Liner. Liner, but very close. Nine star. Well, that's the sign of, a, so of an experienced champion. This has to be a turn. She gets a turn. Yeah.